when you it just kind of when we watch practice, like Marcus Wilson, somebody we always see around with ones and twos, but he hasn't been mentioned. Is is he just one of those solid performers that's been doing things right? And no, it's just a really oversight to, by me. Marcus has done a great job. He's a guy we moved in the spring, and as the spring went on, he continued to make plays. He's very conscientious. He knows what to get, do. He uh, he's always in the right spot, which is a comfort level for the receivers. He has good speed. Uh, he's working on his hands. Uh, he had a little uh, fracture at the end of spring. He's still wearing a little brace, but I feel like his ball skills are improving. Uh, and he's you know he's a pretty solid number one uh, with the ones when we go three receivers. We're really proud of uh, him. And it's because he prepares. He's conscientious. He comes to work every day, and he's gotten better every day. You got other guys like that in our practice that have just been just solid, steady guys that are earning your trust. Sa Sammy Long would be another guy at receiver uh, that's done a nice job. Uh, it's kind of always been the forgotten one uh, at receiver. He doesn't say much. He works extremely hard and has improved. Uh, he's done a nice job throughout camp. His legs are probably a little tired right now. Uh, you know, we've seen him run around, so we got to do a better job of subbing him. But uh, he's a guy that understands what we're trying to do and can play multiple positions. Deshaun Mays is a guy on defense who I think is earning uh, Coach English and the staff's trust. He's getting more one reps when Kevin Davis has been out the, the last couple of days. Kevin Nutt, you know, is a guy that's, you know, I've mentioned before, played a lot of special teams, but has you know, moved himself in the, uh, the one rotation uh, at field corner, doing a nice job. And, you know, there's a couple others, but those are the ones that come to mind. How are you feeling about the way some of these newcomers in the defensive secondary are developing? You've talked, obviously, about Jamal Hicks, but what about some of the others? Alan Gagne, well, you guys it, like you that? Know, I, you know, Jamal's running with the ones right now. Slager's out, and it's really invaluable experience for him. He's making uh, some mistakes, but he's playing full speed, and he's fast. Um, Alan Gandhi is you know, playing a position that's relatively new for him. He's very, very competitive. He has no quit in him. He gets beat on some technique technique issues, but he's able to recover with some speed, and he's got really good ball skills. He'll get better as we continue to go. Uh, that's probably the, the, only, the, the only two I can think of defensively in the front. Toby uh, McBride has done a nice job. Uh, he has really gotten better every day. He showed up in the scrimmage. Uh, you know, kind of what I talked about defensive line, you know, technique and effort. You know, he doesn't have the longest arms that, you know, for a defensive line, but he's very strong. He's playing with technique, playing with effort. You know, the defense had a really good day yesterday, and a lot of it was because of the disruption that Toby was causing up front uh, on our tackles. 